What's going on boys? It's your favorite YouTuber, the one and only Zany. I realized I haven't been paying too much attention to the DOT team or the Department of Transportation team ever since they upped their game. As you guys know, now there's many different ways to earn XP and a few different callouts, i.e. jobs that you can actually do when you're playing. This includes oil spills, down trees, and of course random debris on the road. Let's also not forget the trash sweeper, let's not forget tire changes, gas refills, and everything else that already existed in the game. So one question remains. What is the fastest way to rank up in the Department of Transportation team now that we have all of these options? To ensure I get maximum exposure to these jobs, I am playing in a public server and as always, I think I'm only going to play for maybe 10-15 minutes to see how much XP I can really accrue over the course of a short amount of time and then obviously all we'll do is multiply that. So take note boys, my current XP right now is 835, 835 and I'm hoping that by the end of these 10 or 15 minutes, I walk away with at least 100, maybe 150 XP. We'll see though, we all know XP is not an easy thing to come by in ERLC, so let's keep our fingers crossed. I'll be happy if I walk away with 50 XP at this point. Looks like somebody needs a tire change, but I don't know that his vehicle is going to stick around long enough for me to change the tire on it. Here we go, no I don't think it did, his vehicle already respawned and although the menu is translucent I can see what is happening. Here this is a good way for you guys to see it, you guys see that there is no longer a vehicle there but hopefully I still get some points for going through the mini game because there is no way to exit out of it once I am in and I am about 5 more seconds from finishing this up and error, vehicle has despawned. Man that is not fair. They make you go through all of that only to tell you you can no longer get your XP. Well, that was a waste of my time. Back over to the city center, I see a police vehicle here. I'm going to see if he needs any kind of fuel. And he does, so that is 15 XP. Yes, and I am about 3 or 4 minutes in now. And here is another police vehicle. Hopefully he needs gas as well. Add fuel. Yes, another 15 XP. Great, this is awesome. We are off to a good start. Does the fire truck need gas as well? The fire truck does not need gas. Oh, well, not a big deal. This car already has fuel. So 30 XP was achieved. Not bad, but also not great. We're about a third of the way of where I want it to be. And there's the additional 10 XP kicking in courtesy of the game. So that's always good to see. We are now officially at 40 XP. There's a traffic light outage by the parking garage. So let's hurry up and go get that one before someone else gets it. Where is a traffic outage? There it is. I see it. Gonna repair this light now in Y to Y, B to B, R to R, and G to G. So with 40 XP under our belt, this one should net us another 35. All right, and we are now, let's see here, what is 40 plus 35? That is 75. We are 75 XP and a little bit closer to that 100 and 150 mark that I wanted to be at. So let's keep patrolling and see what else comes up. There's this vehicle here that I totally forgot about and I'm going to try to do two things here. I'm going to try to give it fuel first. Oops, no, I don't want to get in the car. I want to give it fuel. So add fuel and that car already has fuel. It's okay. That means I am not going to be able to do anything else to this vehicle. That is a police officer, so I really don't think he needs any other kind of assistance. There's a couple more vehicles up here and I don't know that I'm going to be able to repair any of them, but I am going to walk around with my gas tank and that one already has fuel as well. What about this one? Awesome, that's going to give me 15 and I think I could change the tire on this one. Yes, I can. I got to be a little quick with this though. So we were at 75, now we are at 90 after giving it fuel. I gotta hurry with the tire change though. I get a feeling he's gonna spawn, and he did. Ah, he just respawned, and I can't get out of the freaking menu. Ah, this is really annoying. Developers, if you guys are watching, change this. Change this right now. And I am not gonna get anything out of it. Nope, nope. 
And as a matter of fact, I am going to be completely locked into this menu. Yeah, I am completely locked in. I don't know if this is a bug or something else. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to reset my character and I think I may have found a bug. I just got a call for a down tree over by the hospital. I think I may know where it's at so I don't have to pull out my MDT. And yes, there it is. Awesome. So with the down tree, how can I do this? I gotta be honest, I haven't even done this job. You need heavy chainsaw on this tree. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the back here. There is the heavy chainsaw, awesome. And I'm gonna pull out number seven. Am I gonna have to just cut it down? Is that what it is? I think so. Oh, there it is. Hold E to clear tree, clearing, clearing, clearing. I was at 90 XP. And after this one, I'm gonna be at 105. Yes, this is what I like to see. And another 10 for being on duty. So that brings me up to 125. And how close am I to the next level? The senior operator is at 1050 and I'm currently 950. So maybe I'll even get to pull this off if I do play for the full 15 minutes, but we'll see. There's another police vehicle here. I'm hoping he needs at least gas. And he does. That is going to give us 15. And there is a traffic light outage by civilian spawn. Man, this is awesome. It is actually keeping me busy. And I should be able to rank up maybe just a little bit more than what I was expecting to get. And same thing here. One more time. Y to Y, B to B, R to R, and green to green. With 120 points, we are going to get an additional 35. That is officially going to bring us up to 155. And that is exactly where I want it to be. So with some pretty good XP under our belt, I think my next objective is going to see how many more points I can get in the last few remaining minutes. And another call out just came in. There is another down tree near the county jail. And I'm simply going to head over in the general vicinity and hope to find it off one of the main roads. Pulling up to the down tree, I am telling you guys, I am really delighted to see how busy I've actually been. If you watch one of my other videos earlier in the week, I talked about Berkeley County and how the job was really immersive and it actually kept me busy for a few minutes. So far, all the mini assignments and the new DOT team are doing the exact same thing. I really appreciate this. And this guy is going to be late to the party. I'm so sorry, bro. I already got it figured out. With a bit more XP under our belt, we are now left with four additional minutes before I hit my official 15 minute mark. I'm not going to see it through until I rank up to senior supervisor. I just don't want to spend that much time playing right now, but I am going to keep driving around to see how much more XP I can get before I completely log out. And let me give this guy some gas real quick. and he did not need gas, he already had a full tank. I see a bit of a gathering here with different cars. I'm hoping some of them need gas. He doesn't, and is he gonna need gas? Don't go anywhere, bro, let me give you gas. Oh, I hate that, I hate that. Come on, man, there we go. And he did not need gas either. What about this guy, does he need gas? You gotta get it just right, it feels. And nice, 10 XP on that one. What about this guy here? And he already has gas as well. And now we have road debris near the power plant. And with the debris cleared up from the power plant, I'm going to gain another 10 XP. And that is officially going to do it up. If you want my recommendation, the best way to rank up and gain XP in the Department of Transportation team is one, drive around and make sure you give everyone under the sun gas. Number two, while you're filling up the vehicles with gas, also look at potential tire changes. Number three, answer all the call outs. As you guys see, I got call out after call out after call out. I don't know if that's because the dot team was heavy on players or if that's because of the way the new system works. But in either case, I was delighted to actually be entertained and be immersed and engage in the job. It was really fun and it honestly didn't feel like 15 minutes. If you do all of that, there's absolutely no reason why you can't walk away with anywhere between 200 to 300 XP almost every 10 to 15 minutes, maybe 20 if you're slow on responding or if something just takes up too much of your time. So there you have it, boys. That's the fastest way to rank up and gain XP in the Department of Transportation team. Let me know if you know any other tips or tricks or any shortcuts down in the comments comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, long live the Zanies.